This tutorial will show you how to create a school trip website in Google Sites. So by the end of the tutorial, it will look something like this. A basic template, a home web page with a picture, um, a clip from YouTube, it could be from Google Video, it could be from TeacherTube. First link is date from your for your diary. So it lists all the dates the students need to pay and the different installments before the trip. Documents have all the documents the parents and students need, for example, dietary requirements, parental consent forms, but it could be a whole list of different things. Parents and students can also keep up to date with the news update section. And for this section, we also added something to the sidebar, something which I mentioned in tutorial one. And it's, it's, a count, it's a simple countdown to when they're leaving for the trip. So how do you do this? As before, as I mentioned in tutorial one, create a new website. Make sure you add the, the sharing options. I'm going to share with everyone, but you might only want to share this with, uh, with your school or your, your students. Create a site. And then we need to add, I'm going to start off by adding the countdown. Okay. So here, you want to go through and you want to add something that's going to kind of jazz up your website. It could be all sorts of different things. Um, let's add the countdown. There's lots of other. Let's add the date, event, um, school leaves for trip. Choose the date. Let's say, for example, they're leaving 2011 and they're leaving in February on a Friday. There we go. And then click Save Changes. We can also have a preview if you want to look at the page and see what it looks like. And then click Save Changes. Now we're going to have the different pages. <clears throat> click Return to Site. Create page. The first one we want to add dates for the diary. And for this one, we're going to create a list. Create page. We need to decide which list we're going to, we're going to have. And for this one, I'd like us to create a custom list. We add date. It's going to be uh, something we can add a date to. We're going to add activity and that's you can choose what you'd like to have there it's going to be a checkbox a drop down etc it's going to be a, a add text click save and now we can add the items so for example we'd like since the, the trip is on the uh, in February 2011 we want, want them to, to pay fairly quickly so let's say the term starts around about the 6th of September. We may want them to pay something by, let's say, the 24th of September. First installment. £35. Okay. This always this saves automatically. Okay. So if we um, go into the school trip, just have a look what it looks like. Dates for the diary. It would now say on the you know the September twenty fourth something needs to be uh, needs to be done. But instead of adding lots of attachments to different areas of the website, how about adding a documents page instead? Documents. We want to add a file cabinet so you can put things in there. Click create page, and in here that's when you add your your file. So if you would add something here, you would click. Add file, choose file, and you would then add it from your computer. If you have a Google document, you would use the uh, URL from the Google document and you paste in there and then you click upload. So it's fairly straightforward there. And finally, you might want to keep parents and guardians and students up to date. So you could do, for example, updates, or even name it trip updates. You would have an announcement in that case, which is uh, Google's mini blog feature with insights. 
So here you keep them up to date. So for example, uh, there might be um, there might be a, a date in here for the parents' evening. You keep, for example, parents evening thirteenth uh, of October, two thousand and ten. Thank you for attending the evening. Um, let's spell that correctly. And add whatever details you might need. There might be some follow documents you'd like them to have here. You might also want to add them to the document section. But parents can also add comments here, which is the, the powerful feature of this. So if they have questions, they can post online, unless they want to, of course, give you a ring or email you. Click Save to make sure that the first blog post is saved. And there you have it.